We reviewed some awesome Airstream Class B motorhomes today, so stick around folks, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we took a look at some Airstream Class B motorhomes which are fantastic. Some of them are more for like touring all around and tailgating and taking your family to the beach and that sort of thing. Another might have a uh, Murphy bed set up and really be more for what a full-time RVer or a long-term vacationer might want to have on board. And we also answer the question, do Airstreams have slide outs? So stick around, you're gonna to wanna to see the answer to that question. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel, welcome aboard. We make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing and we also have our website, rvblogger.com where we literally have hundreds and hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. So today, we're gonna to take a look at some Class B motorhomes from Airstream that I think you're really gonna enjoy. So let's get started right now. So this is the Airstream Interstate Lounge. It's a Class B RV, and it is really, really meant for touring in large groups. It can seat up to nine people. And in the front of the RV, there are four captain's chairs. There's a nice big TV over top for these folks up here. But also, there's another there's seating in the back for five more people and a TV back there as well. One other thing you'll notice right away about this RV is the immense amount of storage space that's in here. There are literally cabinets everywhere for you to store things all around the RV, top, bottom, in the middle, everywhere. So there's a lot of storage space in here. Uh, for any needs that you have in that regard. The kitchen area um, is small but efficient. It's got a round sink with a pop-up faucet, which is pretty cool. It's got a double burner propane stove. And then it's got a microwave with a drawer that slides out. This is really neat. I've never seen one like this before. So that's kind of different. Then it's got a small uh, little mini fridge in here little spot for ice cubes up top so and then in the back of the RV this is where this you can seat five people or this can fold into a bed where two people can comfortably sleep there's also a TV back here so that the viewers in the back of this RV can watch TV while you're cruising down the road as well it's also got a really cool wet bath so let's check that out now so the wet bath in here is a really modern feel to it. It's got a very nice shower head. It's got a soap dispenser for soap, shampoo, and conditioner. Small sink in the corner and then commode on the left side. There's also extra storage space behind the back seat. You have about two feet from the back seat to the back door, but you can also open up these back doors and there's a screen that slides down so you can get lots of airflow through here and enjoy those beautiful spring or fall evenings in the cool weather. So here we are in the Airstream Touring Coach Tommy Bahama Edition, which really is just like an Airstream Interstate Lounge, except it has all of the finishes that kind of go along with the Tommy Bahama theme that you would expect to find. So some of these finishes include like this artwork on the wall, the different cabinet finishes that are in here, really very beautiful. And I like this right here. It's a nice uh, liquor bottle holder. I would really really enjoy this if i was out cruising around that's for sure but it's just kind of got that you know teak wood peel to it that you might expect to find in a tommy bahama type design so this particular airstream we really like uh i really really like the finishes in here and uh it kind of feels like you're inside of a really upscale boat cabin so here we are inside the Airstream Grand Tour Class B RV motorhome. Unfortunately, uh, they don't have power running to this one today and the battery's completely dead, so we can't turn the lights on, so it's a little bit dark in here. But this particular Airstream, like all of them, sits on a Mercedes chassis. All the bells and whistles are included. Really amazing. This one has the white captain's chairs that both swivel around, uh, power steering, 
everything you want, cruise control, everything you can imagine in a Mercedes chassis is included in the Airstream. They buy their chassis with every option available so you have everything you could ever want. You can't add it later, so you have to get it up front. Anyway, in their Grand Tour model, it's just a very, very luxurious feeling in here. It's got a little bit of a, a modern feel to it because it's got like the, the darker cabinetry with the white interior seating. So it's a nice contrast. Uh, the kitchen area in here, I like it. It's all on one side. It's sort of in line. You've got a good amount of counter space here. Two burner propane stove. Of course, you've got your flip up faucet in your sink. So plenty of cabinet space down below. And you know with the Airstreams, you always get these locking cabinets so they don't fly out on you, which is a very nice feature. And of course, the microwave in here is the slide out drawer style. So uh, you maximize your space with that as well. Right across from the kitchen area is the refrigerator. And so, you know, a decent sized fridge. And this one also has a drawer on the bottom for the freezer, which I think is really nice. There's a ton of space inside of here. So you could have plenty of frozen food plus a bag of ice. I, re I really like that design. It definitely uh, maximizes the space. As we move towards the back of this touring coach, we'll take a look at the bathroom and also the seating and sleeping arrangements in the back of the RV. So these particular touring coaches all come with a wet bath except for the atlas and uh it feels like if you ask me it feels like an airplane bathroom it's pretty cool but anyway it's got a little uh sink built in here shampoo conditioner and soap dispenser commode and the toilet paper holder has a cover to keep the tp dry so in the back of this motorhome uh it's very nice and plush back here the sofa jackknifes out. This whole area becomes one really big, comfortable bed. There's also two TVs in here. There's one back here so you can enjoy that while you're lounging or getting ready for bed. There's also one up front. So if you're using the captain's chairs up front along with the table for eating dinner or whatever, you have a TV up there that you can enjoy as well. And then behind this sofa, there's about a foot to a foot and a half of space that you can use to store things while you're road tripping all around. So we hope you like this version of the Airstream Class B motorhomes as well. So here we are inside the Airstream Atlas, which is one of their touring coaches. And this thing is a Class B RV and it is really phenomenal. It's 24 feet long, but it feels much, much bigger inside. Uh, starting from the front of the coach, we have two captain's chairs that both swivel around and face the back of the RV. There's also a place where you could put a table up front so you could eat at those captain's chairs. And then above there, there's also storage and of course the control panel for the rest of the RV. In the main living area here, this is the only Airstream that actually has a slide out. And this area where the Murphy bed is, is where the slide out is located. Currently, it's already slid out. And you see you have a nice comfy couch here and this couch will convert into a Murphy bed and I'll show you how that works. So located on this end of the couch, there's a button that you push which causes the sofa to flatten out. And then you just pull the Murphy bed down and there you go. So the Murphy bed is pretty big. I think that you could sleep on it either direction, but my feet are hanging off the end of the bed this way. I think you might really need to lay this way so to make it into a queen size bed. I would lay this way and here's why. Because directly across from the bed is the televator. There's a button right here on this side and you push that and the televator goes up. All right, so when you're laying in your Murphy bed, you've got a window right above. There's also lights up top here. And then you have a little bit of storage on each side. In fact, this whole area here is a big pocket for storage. And then I really like these reading lights that come out and each re there's one on each side and they both have a USB port as well so that you can charge your cell phone overnight. 
So the kitchen area in the Atlas is compact and yet very, very efficient. The, uh, it's a kind of a L-shaped kitchen in here. You have a little bit of countertop space, not a ton, but with this piece that goes over the sink, there's plenty of room. It's got a nice deep single bowl sink in here with a gooseneck faucet. And then located back here is your trash bin. And then of course, you've got a two burner stove right here. Down below, there's plenty of uh, drawer space, extra cabinet space as well. And then there's even extra countertop space if you need it here. And then there is additional drawer space below that. Over here, we have the refrigerator, which I can't open, there it goes. And the freezer is located down below little different layout and then above the refrigerator you have your microwave also you have a nice spot for canned storage canned good storage things like that and then another space above which just goes back about I don't know a foot and a half of open storage as well this is the biggest bathroom I've ever been in inside a class B RV before it's amazing it's like a residential size bathroom in here come on in and check it out so here I am inside the shower. This is a wonderful shower stall. Plenty of elbow room, plenty of room to move around. I'm 5'11", and there's probably a good six inches over my head. So plenty of room for someone that's a little taller as well. And it's just a really nice shower. It's got the teak wood finish, shampoo and soap holder inside. Just a really nice setup. And I like the lighting in here as well. It's pretty cool. So above the commode, we have some storage space up here as well. And then, of course, you have a towel bar, robe holder, and then your commode. So over here, we have a really nice medicine cabinet. Nice storage with little rails to help hold things in place. You have another towel holder off to the right of that. Then you have a good size vanity area and then storage down below the vanity as well. And on this side of the bathroom, there is just tons of storage. Um, this is a really deep cabinet. It's cedar lined, really super nice. Then we have this cabinet as well. Nice wardrobe cabinet. You can hang your hangable clothes up in there and then more drawer space down below. Let us know which one of these Class B motorhomes you like the best. We want to hear which ones you enjoyed checking out. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click right here. And when you do, remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel. And also, be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we come out with a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.